Welcome back to Inside Politics. Our guest today for this first show of 2017 is Nashville Mayor Megan Berry. Mayor Berry, we talked a lot about mass transit in the first half. I want to talk a little bit, continue that conversation a little bit, focusing in on up on the Hill. Sure. You're a Democrat. They're all Republicans. There are a lot of Democrats in local government. The Republicans pretty well dominate the federal and the state government. So how do you get them to work? How do you work together? How does everybody make nice up there? Because particularly after what's happened in the national elections, Republicans are kind of feeling their oats right now. They, they want to continue to say, we're the sheriff in town. We're in charge. Well, one of the things that President-elect Trump talked a lot about was investment in infrastructure. Uh, I think at one point he had said he wanted to invest $3 trillion in infrastructure. And so, you know, our goal for Nashville is to make sure that we're part of those conversations and to get our, our piece of the pie. There's also a, a need. He, he'll probably be involved in deciding whether the federal government continues to have all the money they put in right now into transit, right. no matter what we do with any of this sure. billion dollar program over the next 25 years, the federal government is expected to play a pretty large role. Are you confident the Trump administration is going to be on board to do that? Well, uh, you know, the, the appointment of the, the transit uh, transportation uh, secretary, uh, Chow, I think she actually comes with government experience. She has been uh, involved, and so I've got a high degree of confidence that she's going to understand and the needs and that we're going to be able to have those conversations. As you talk to lawmakers, how do you take the heat off of them? Because while if they give you this enabling legislation, that's not a tax increase per se. Sure. They know that in a lot of cases when you get in a political situation for re-election, that's going to be used against them by their opponents. So how do you provide defense for them, I mean, not so much in this delegation in Davidson County, but across the state? Because they're sitting up on a $2 billion surplus as sure. well as the state government. Sure. Well, I think that what enabling legislation allows uh, us to do and other uh, RTAs potentially in other uh, parts of the state is to let voters decide. And so anytime a legislator can say that this is not an increase but actually an opportunity for voters to weigh in, I think that's a positive message. We move on to another topic um, in the last couple of months last year, the Metro Council approved a bill that would allow a small amount of marijuana to be possessed by people and if they were found with police to that they could issue a ticket or a misdemeanor on that right. rather than making it into a, a much much more serious offense that would have uh, jail time and, and, and fines. Uh, the state attorney general says that bill is illegal yet Metro is, is still enforcing it. Um, why? So, uh, you know, our legal department did the same review and said that actually we believe that uh, that this legislation, which was enacted by Metro Council, reflects what Davidson County voters want. So uh, our hope is that at the state legislature, they'll take a harder look across the, the state uh, about criminal fines and penalties and, and, and that that will be a starting conversation. But the legislature has not been shy about striking down metro ordinances and regulations before if they thought they were out of line. Aren't you really sort of in encouraging that by saying we're going to continue to enforce this new regulation well, here in Nashville? Well, again, I, I think that, uh, you know, we have to do what uh, the, the voters of Davidson County want us to do, and, and the Metro Council took that that based on what uh, their voters wanted them to do, and, and our legal department says that uh, we think we're okay. You talked about President-elect Trump a couple of minutes ago. You wrote an op-ed piece in the Tennessee and saying we need to look for common ground. Now, you, when you said you originally drafted that, you had a Hillary Clinton administration <laughs> in mind. I did. What common ground do you see with President Trump? There's an awful lot of things he seems to talk about that I know are not policy areas you agree with. Uh, the, the infrastructure investment and transit. And um, and I think that uh, clearly that's on the top of mind of, of Nashvillians and, and that he made it a, a conversation as part of his campaign. And that infrastructure piece is critical. One area that he seems to indicate he's going to be very strong about is going to be uh, cracking down on illegals and, and, and people without, uh, without papers in, in this area. There are some major cities that are looking at putting, taking local money and putting it into a defense fund for, to help provide legal counsel for some of the people who may be in the middle and caught in, in limbo about all that if the Trump administration moves ahead on that. Is that something that might be in Nashville's future? Because you said you don't want Nashville to be the immigration police. Right. And that may be where the administration's headed. Well, I, I again, I think we're all in a wait and see mode about uh, what uh, policies uh, the Trump administration will ultimately enact. Nashville is going to continue to be a warm and welcoming place, and, uh, and I think we'll have to take a hard look at what those policies look like in order for us to make the right decision. January 20th is the swearing-in date for the new president. Uh, there's, there's going to be a protest here in Nashville, I believe, out in Centennial Park, probably around the Parthenon. Uh, it's a silent protest about uh, the Trump administration coming in. Are you going to be participating in that, or is that 
Maybe uh, at the moment, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually going to be in D.C. that week. I'm not sure when my, my flight comes back. But I will tell you that protests and silent protests are, are this is what makes democracy so great. We're going to have a peaceful transition of government uh, on the 20th, and we're going to say goodbye to an old president and hello to a new president, and that's part of, of what a democracy is. But in terms of you being mayor and being mm -hmm. president then, isn't that a little bit of a difficult situation? On the one hand, you have your own political views and things, and you're certainly okay to be able to express that as any citizen is, but you also represent all the people in Nashville, those who were Hillary Clinton supporters Absolutely. and those who are Donald Trump supporters. So your presence there says things more than just I'm here as a citizen. Oh, uh, absolutely. And so again, you know, I'm, I love that uh, Nashvilleians want to stand up and express themselves. And uh, I'll be in D.C. that week for the U.S. Mayor's uh, Conference. So I'm going to be talking with lots of other mayors who are Democrats and Republicans. And uh, we're going to be setting our agenda for how we can move cities forward with the Trump administration. Now, we've talked a lot about transit during this particular program. But what are your other local priorities for 2017? What do you want to see get done in the next 12 sure. months. Well, they haven't really changed, Pat. You know, we're still focused on affordable housing. Uh, we've got some great stuff coming down the pike. We've, we've, uh, we're completing the Barnes Fund administration, and we're going to get some stuff coming out of the ground, making sure that we're still growing our economy. Jobs are, are still a focus, and uh, that all that quality of life. We were talking off uh, off camera about some of the announcement, new announcements for downtown and how it's going to bring more jobs and, and more traffic, although you <laughs> don't want to talk about the traffic necessarily as much, but uh, is you you see the pipeline as mayor right. a little further out than all of us do. Is the pipeline still full of more opportunities and new development for Nashville? It is. It's amazing how many companies want to come here, relocate here, or grow their businesses here, and uh, I think that speaks really well uh, about Nashville. What is it about Nashville now during this particular boom? that seems to make it uh, so profound, so long-lasting, because I've been here before when we've had great opportunities and things were going well, and then something always kind of came up and things went back down, maybe back to normal or maybe even below normal. What, why is it different this time? Well, I think, I think things will ebb and flow. I mean, uh, but I will tell you that I think with our diversified economy, we have lots of different kinds of businesses. So if one business is maybe ebbing, there's another one that's flowing. So we've been able to keep our economy strong here with a lot of, of new job generation and also a lot of companies who are growing. National Mayor Megan Berry is our guest on Inside Politics. We'll take a break right now, come back to talk to her more about what's coming up in Nashville and Metro for 2017 after you watch these messages. Thank you.